kind of uh, just got my breakfast here going back to Morse all right so the time is around 11 20. um i finished korean class around an hour ago did some korean homework um so for this week there are more um ims there's spike ball finals that i want to film on friday in terms of work i only have one piece at due this week but then i have a cs midterm which is pretty big and a quiz for my other CS class. And also tomorrow is election day, so it'll be really interesting to film our suite's reactions throughout the night. So depending on how well studying goes and what the results of the election are, this week could turn out to be a very stressful or stress-free week. We'll just have to wait and see how it pans out, I guess. All right, just finished my Chinese class. Probably going to study later, but right now I'm going outside to play some spike ball. Alright, so right now it's still uh, around 5.15, but because of um, daylight savings time ending, it's already pretty dark, as you can see. Yeah, it's a bit depressing. Nothing you can really do about it. Um, just a sign that winter is coming. Our, like, go-to restaurants were not, like, the most did not change. No, so apparently he is dead. What the hell was that? Hey, you got a bag? Alright, so the time is around 11.30. I'm going to get food truck lunch with a friend in half an hour. 
So right now I'm doing my stats piece set and the plan for today is to do as much work as possible um, until the night and then probably spend the night just relaxing and watching the election, trying to not be that stressed. Yeah, male ferrets are like, they're more active and muscular than female ones. And like, he's always exploring, always sort of like, always looking for new things to do. You can never really, you can never really sit down and actually like cuddle with him. That's the kind of annoying part. Please, he's, he's great to have around. What software do you use to edit your videos? Oh, I use Premiere Pro. Mm. All right, so it's Wednesday, November 4th. Yesterday was election day, so we were supposed to have um, a winner announced by last night, but we don't have a winner announced right now, so we just have to wait and see how the votes turn out. I actually spent the night not looking at the results just to like preserve my sanity and I think that really helped me have a good mindset today. I already got some questions on my SAS piece that done so I'm happy for that and plan to be um, just steadily productive throughout the day. How you doing? Hey, what's up? <laughs> How's the um, dining experience? It's a little bit isolating to be honest, yeah. as you can probably guess. It's not bad. Um, it's nice to come out here in the morning to get a little a little solitude, a little peace yeah. and quiet yeah. before we uh, get started with the race. Did you have a workout today? We have practice this morning. I see, I see. So, yeah. just got back. Yeah. Um, quick bite before, uh, before class starts. Cool, cool. Oh, they just added every other place. It's been kind of handy. Mm. Yeah. Thousand votes? Yeah, there's the three different yeah. parties, essentially. Yeah. I'll be making it like is a legitimate concern. Under six figures. All right, so I just had some lunch. Now I'm gonna go to the uh, courtyard in Surin Library to do some work and have my Chinese lecture as well. I still think Nevada's gonna finish before this. Oh, oh, they for sure are. I mean, this has chunks, so I really hope it's not ranch. He was just. He was. Oh my god. Wait, Alex, do not knock no, it out. I need Brian's car. Alright, so I'm gonna go to lunch now. I took my Korean class and then worked a little bit on my stats piece set. And in around three hours, my CS midterm is gonna start. Hopefully, I will finish that before dinner and then just have a chill night studying for my CS quiz. Alright, so the time is 6 p.m. I am in the middle of doing my CS take-home exam. I can show you a little bit. So in total, there are five questions and they give you 24 hours to do those questions. Um, so I started around 2.30 p.m., which is when the exam was released. They're pretty in-depth questions, but I think I was able to thoroughly solve most of them, although there might be a few mistakes here and there. And yeah, so I am on the last question right now, so hopefully I can finish that up soon and then submit it and work on studying for my other CS quiz as well. 
All right, so it's around 10.20 right now. I finished my CS take home midterm around three hours ago. Um, so after finishing my CS midterm, I held some um, CS office hours as well. Right now I just finished CS office hours and I'm probably gonna just chill out for the rest of the night, maybe do a little bit of more work on my stats piece set, but yeah. Because the timer didn't start on anyone else's screen. Oh, drive a go, oh my. So we're gonna have to do it three times. And I'm the sun, so I should just be wiggling. Yeah, and it, and it filled up super fast. That actually might have been it. Ooh, <laughs> Alright, so right now I'm in Korean class listening into a cultural presentation on the um, history of Korea's economy um, by our classmate Patrick. Alright, just finished Korean an hour ago. Was working on my stats piece set after that, and now I'm gonna have lunch. Alright, so as I predicted, there were um, a spike of COVID cases this week, um, probably tied to a um, Halloween weekend and also like the general trend of um, rising cases in New Haven and in other places around the country. And so um, Spike Bowl has been cancelled for today, which was really sad because it would have been the um, championships. It has been postponed, so hopefully they can hold it next week or um, the week after, hopefully before we go back for Thanksgiving break. So gotta have high hopes. And yeah, so unfortunately Yale has changed from a yellow safety level um, to an orange or moderate risk safety level, which means that there have been um, a spike of cases. And as you can see, from the 29th to November 4th, we've had 42 new cases, which is somewhat concerning. And a sizable portion of those new cases actually has come from undergrads living on campus. So that's even more concerning as well. And in an email sent by our Dean of Yale College, Dean Chun, they have basically detected a cluster in the three colleges of Davenport, Grace Hopper, and Saybrook. And so they are requesting students in those three colleges to be quarantining in their suites. Students not in those colleges are free to move around, but they are asked to take um, increased precautions, obviously. And he also emphasized that um, 72 hours before we leave campus for November break, we should take a COVID test as well. And yeah, so that basically wraps up week nine of quarantine at Yale. Sorry has to end off on a very um, grim note, but I still have hope that um, the community can pull together for these next two weeks until we leave for break. Um, it was definitely a very stressful week with the um, rise in COVID cases in addition to the still delayed election results. So that would definitely be um, a thorn for this week. My rose or something good that happened this week was that even despite all these um, stresses, I think handled them well because I talked to them about my friends. Um, we coped together. And in general, I think the Yale community coped together as well. Many professors postponed their assignments that were supposed to be due this week to later dates, which was um, a good move on their part. Yeah, and there is definitely like discussion and dialogue in classes about the election. Just help like people vent and stuff. And my bud for next week, something that I'm looking forward to is hopefully the election results will be finalized. Joe Biden is president elect of the United States. The 46th president of the United States. President of the United States. 46th president of the United States. Hopefully we won't see a new spike in COVID cases at Yale. And hopefully my workload for next week will also be pretty light as well. And as always, I hope you found this video interesting, informative, and even a bit interesting. I'm sorry that it was a bit more fragmented than other videos, but yeah, today was just a pretty um, eventful and stressful week. And I guess until next week, stay safe. Stay positive, stay strong, um, and yeah, peace.